Hi guys, welcome to the Original Gamers UK. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial guide for Yang. We've already got a tutorial guide for Remy, Hugo and Elena. So I thought I'd add to some of the, you know, lesser well-known characters with Yang. He's definitely one of my favourites to play. I know a few people out there who um, are wanting to get to, to know him better. So yeah, here we go with my uh, guide. We're going to go through bread and butter combos, super of choice, how to punish what kind of gameplay you should be having if you want to play Yang, uh, those kind of things. So, let's get straight to it. Super of choice. Now, as I said, because this is a beginner slash kind of an intermediate guide, I'm going to suggest Super 1. Super 1 or, or Super 2. Definitely not Super 3, yeah, say if, you, if you're getting new to Yang, um, that's a very execution heavy combo. So. The reason why I'm going to suggest Super 1 is it allows you to have a wake up move, a wake up super and also it's pretty damn unpunishable. The reason you'd have Super 2 though is it allows you to have two bars of meter rather than one and you'll see that one of the reasons why Yang relies so heavily on meter is this EX Mantis Slash that does crazy stun levels. But as I say for the purpose of this we're just going to go with Super 1. Let's go against Ken. So what reasons would you have to play Yang? Well, one, he looks awesome, he's a cool character, but apart from that, gameplay-wise, why would he suit you? Do you like to rush down? Do you like being very momentum-based, but also have very solid footsies, poking, and crazy walk speed? <laughs> so they're the kind of reasons you play him. He has a very good walk speed, very momentum-based, has a very strong rushdown game, also very viable on chip, pressure, those kind of reasons. Now uh, I'm going to go straight into uh, target combos, which ones are useful, which ones aren't. So we're going to start off with the main one which is going to be medium punch, hard punch, back hard punch, or strong, fierce, back fierce. So it looks, it looks like that, you can see it quite a bit, and you'll notice the, the, corner, on it, the corner carry on it and the damage is, is, is pretty good for a simple three piece. Another one is um, light kick, medium kick, hard kick. You see that one a few times online. It doesn't really have much use, to be honest. I mean, it looks sick, but apart from that, it's not too useful. And then the most awkward one, it's actually going to be slightly more awkward on Ken. It's more viable on characters like Hugo and Q, uh, Alex, the taller characters. Is going to be jump, medium kick, um, medium kick, dive kick. So I'll do it again, medium kick, um, dive kick, medium kick. What oh, was dive kick? Like that, you can see how low that hits. And the reason you do that is to say if you went against someone who's really spamming um, parry every time you jump in, because they know you're going to jump in with like fierce or roundhouse, and then they get, they're punishing you. If you do that, they're going to be like, oh crap, he hit, hit me, and then you're, you're in there. You can deal out loads of damage. Now, main bread and butter combos. Crouch medium kick to fierce wreckers. You see, you see damage on that is 29. There you go. Okay. That's going to be your main bread and butter. I mean, quite a lot of times you see people do uh, more like a Street Fighter 4 combo, which is stand fierce to the wreckers. But you'll notice that actually does less damage. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise that. I'm... I think stand fierce might be slightly faster, the close stand fierce, um, than crouch medium kick. So in that sense, if you need a faster punish, yeah, then I kind of get it. But what's so good about the crouch medium kick to slashers is Yang's one of the only characters who's able to do a maximum punish from like this kind of that kind of range. So you get a Ken online who's spamming the uppercut from like mid screen. He can he can punish it from really far out. And that's something that I find to be one of his most useful tools. So other people can do it, but they can't come in something or they've got to be... Like, so say for example, if, if you're Ken, if you don't have super, what are you going to do if a Ken does full screen like uppercut? Maybe EX Tatsu, but it's a bar, so I think that's kind of nice. Other than bread, bread and butter combo is Crash Moon Kick into EX Slashes. And what I'll do later on, because there's no stun bar in here. Um, I'll show you the stun levels 
that does. But if you're anything like me, um, for some reason, I kind of find, because of the placement of where my um, the buttons are in, in Third Strike, you sometimes get an option select. That if, even if you press two buttons, you don't get the EX part. Um, so it kind of ends like that. What you can do is you just press the EX on the first the first wrecker. Um, so you're going to do that, but then you can actually press any punch button with wreckers after that. So for example, I'm, I'm pressing like L1 to get that. Then I can do jab wreckers and get the rest of the EX combo, if that makes sense. Like that. That was on, that was on jab afterwards. So if you didn't know that, that's kind of cool, right? There you go. Okay, uh, another unique combo, one that you don't really see, one I uh, I quite like though, is going to be very close, and I do mean very close, crouch light kick to EX up kick. Yeah, kind of random, but looks cool. And then you can reset them with jab, um, medium punch, which I did there. And then you can go like dive kick, you could walk forward command grab, and we'll go into that. So you've got some setups, um, setups from there. Other unique combo is... Close medium kick, medium kick roll. Um, it's it's not the hardest thing ever, but it's also not not too easy. But meatless combo, um, yeah, pretty good for corner carry as as well. And then the other main combo is his dive kick combo. But I'm going to show you the ender because if you light kick, crouch light kick can't come into normal slashes. It can't come into normal up kicks. But it can combo into EX, EX Mantis Slash. And why is this important? Because after Dive Kick, one of the only things that's easy to combo is Crouch, Crouch Light Kick. Like that. And then you're going to confirm that to the EX Mantis Slashes. So let's, let's go for that. And you'll see that where I went there, I went in between like this pillar and this dustbin, and then just on the stage, it's just so you can kind of see the range that I went out for the dive kick. Um, because it's very range dependent. Like if I was to do it from here, you're way too high up, like way too high up. So this is why sometimes you'll be like, whoa, why can't I confirm from the dive kick? And it's all to do with, with range and how low down you are. The lower down to the ground you are when you land the dive kick, the better, because the easier it is to combo and apply pressure. Like that, that even though that missed, see, he's totally safe in that one. That one combos. So I say, crouch light kick is very good, confirming to the ex slashes, and that's really something really important to remember. Um, other things to to note are, yeah, Yang's command grab. So half circle back and kick. That's his. That's his command grab, and that's what you want to apply after you've got them so scared of your buttons that they start blocking. You apply the command grab and things to command combo after the command grab. Or well, super one, you can just go create super, and that's 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 so easy, guys. Honestly, you just so you're just gonna do the command grab, and you're not gonna wait to land. You're gonna buffer the super. You can hear me buffering the super, hopefully, during that motion. Um, you can also go straight into your wreckers, or you could do crash medium kick, wreckers. Yeah, so you kind of you or you know you could even. Um, try and sneaky like reset them into a, another one, something like that. But a very a very useful move, and that's definitely something that you want to start applying more um, as you go along. I think once you've got your command grabs down, once you get in your dive kick combos, you're definitely going to more intermediate, advanced Yang tech. Anti airs, anti airs for Yang are an odd one. A lot of people say he doesn't have as many good ones, but there's one fact. There's one we found that seems to be um, pretty reliable, and it's going to be crouch fierce because you kind of low profile, and it also hits twice. You see that? He's going to jump again. So, and you sort of fell on the, the jump roundhouse, but we're going to do jump mean kick. So hit him, jump fierce, hit him, jump roundhouse. Jump roundhouse is the only one there um, that got me. So we'll do it one more time. It's a bit late. Low profile. Yeah. So it's kind of um, that it's it's a good anti air. It's also kind of awkward, but I think people, a lot of people don't even really think about that. Why I think that's a pretty good one. Now you could do up kicks. Now up kicks on training mode, it's gonna look really good because I know they're jumping right. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be that hard to be able to to do that. 
But if I'm like walking forward and they jump over, no, you're not, you're not got any chance. Whereas Crouch Fist, you kind of see I'm walking underneath, you can kind of get away with it. And then the other one is going to be um, close medium kick and far medium kick. So far medium kick looks like, looks like this. And then close medium kick. Oh, I just, just missed it. I'll do it from the start. Close medium kick and obviously allows you to get the follow up. But it's a bit more awkward as you can kind of see. Like that was it. And then you can get the follow up from there. Let's see if we can get this follow up. Oh, overhead. <laughs> and we'll go, we'll, go on to the, we'll go on to the overhead in a second. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so overheads. He has uh, he has two. He has what everyone has, which is a universal one. Not as useful as other people's, but that's because you just do this one. Towards medium kick. Just like Yun. It's really solid. It's quite it's quite fast. Um, when you've got them guessing between the command grab or your block strings, they're gonna start either mashing out uppercuts or or defending, and you're going to hope that they start blocking, blocking low, and then you get the overhead in. But the other useful thing is, as I say, it goes over lows. So like a lot of Kens walk forward and do crash moon kick. And as a young player, this is what you may be looking to do, which is going to be going over, over those crash moon kicks. I did it too early. There you kind of went over. I'll, I'll show you again. Just need to pause. There you go. You see, he did the crash moon kick and it hit him out of it. And then if you keep doing that, they're going to get flustered. And that's how you're going to win the match. So guys, to, to recap before I go on to his other super and um, also show you the, the crazy stun that EX Mantis Slash does, we're going to recap the, the bread and butter combos. Crouch, medium kick to slashes. Crouch, medium kick to EX Slashes. Crouch light kick to X slashes. Crouch light kick to EX up kicks. To the reset. Um, crouch medium kick to super. There, I say they're kind of main ones, and then you start bringing in those combos. Target combos, light kick, medium kick, hard kick. Medium fierce, back fierce. And the, the dive kick one. Um, yeah, so I kind of hope that was that was useful. So you're gonna kind of be wanting to play it as Yang. You want to be anywhere from like this kind of range to right in the face. But with his low health and stun, it can be kind of a bit riskier. Um, so let's go on and check out this um, the stun that he causes though. Okay, guys. So um, what, what I've done is I've just gone into uh, versus mode, and I'm gonna show you the stun damage that you can get off the EX Mantis Slash. Okay, so look, look at how much stun that did, and that's the reason why you'd go with Super 2. Um, so let's just finish off this round. Now, say most people consider the first Super to be the worst Super that Yang has, but you know, if you're someone, I say just picking up Yang, you wanna have a move that's like, get off me, and it's unpunishable, I'd definitely go with Super 1. Okay, but another thing about Super 2, so you see this target combo that we've got, that can be buffered into the Super, which is a really a nice little thing. Now, there's a few um, few combos I actually missed out, um, but this is kind of more intermediate to advance. It's going to be stand medium kick, super jump cancel, hard kick. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can just do that. Uh, let's see if I can do it. That was it. There you go. Um, yeah, so guys, um, I hope you, um, oh, actually last thing, last thing, is um, his his taunt. Um, you're not going to see it too often, but it does increase the the damage of his next hit, I think, by like 30%. Um, his grab, it doesn't really do that much. I think it's like 5%, 6%, something along those lines. Um, but say after you've had, hit super or you've knocked them down with the record combos... You know, feel free to do a taunt. It gets you a bit of uh, a nice damage. Anyway, guys, I hope that this guide um, helped you. Hope you understand either how to play Yang a bit more, or just even just giving you a bit of knowledge, like being like, oh, I didn't actually know that was his most uh, powerful bread and butter, even though it's his easiest one, and why you might use the other supers. So um, I will 
I will see you guys soon. I'm hoping to do another character tutorial. Um, hopefully, I'm thinking maybe Oro or Yorian. Um, and yeah, let me let me know if this helped you guys. All right, I'll catch you soon.